What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode. We are here in the big snake room. Now, something that I get asked a lot, what's up buddy, um, is what would happen or what would I do if I were to get bit. So I definitely wanted to do an episode on this. You wanna come out for me? Come on. Come on. I figured why not start with the baby king. Whoa, that's a little light. <laughs> Come here. Oh, you're so savage. You're so savage. Come here. And you just launch out. So today we're gonna to talk about bike protocol and what would happen if I or somebody that was here was to get bit. All right, in trash can you go. Now bite protocols are extremely important as far as I'm concerned because this is all the information you need to know if something were to happen. If I were to get bit by a snake, say Summer by chance, she knows all about this bite protocol. She would know what to do, which card to grab, and so on and so forth. So we're going to open this bad boy up. We're going to see some of the things I do and I recommend keeping a bite protocol. Again, I believe that all venomous keepers should actually keep this um, on hand at all times. Page one. So my page one is very simply my bite info. If something were to happen, if I were to get bit by a snake, I have a phone number in big bold letters. That phone number is for Venom One. Now Venom One is a special team here in Miami, Florida that uh, specializes in anti-venoms. Uh, they're firefighter paramedics, awesome group of guy and girls. I also have in the folder of the book, uh, it's a list of every single species of snake and the antivenoms that that species as well takes. Now on page two, I do have a map to the closest hospital to my house, along with step-by-step -step directions to that hospital as well. On page three, I have certain things you should do and not do depending on the type of snake that bit me. Going over to page four, I have an emergency plan B or part B of my emergency plan, I should say, uh, which is just in case a natural disaster happens, what I should do in that case. Um, so like I have bag all non-venomous snakes, um, put them in containers, and then same thing for the venomous, bag them and bring them to another facility that is maybe better than mine um, at the time of a natural disaster. But seeing as that <coughs> <coughs> I'm pretty sure I just swallowed a fly. Mm, protein. Wow, yeah, totally did just swallow a fly. But anyway, seeing as my house is pretty strong and it withstands Cat 5 hurricanes, I don't really need to worry about this, but it is something that I need to have in here just in case of an emergency. So now getting to the snake portion of my bite protocol. So as an identification, I have pictures of all the snakes as you saw early on in the video. I have to have a picture of each snake along with their venom information as well. So now this is where I get in depth in mine. Um, my inspector wishes that more people would be like mine, but um, you know, it's to your own discretion. You can kind of do it however you want. I particularly like to do it like this, and I know other people even do it more extreme. So this first one I have is Crotalus because I love Crotalus, as most of you guys know, which is a lot of rattlesnakes. Um, but for starters, I have the Eastern Diamondback Rattlesnakes. I have pictures um, of the rattlesnakes and then also, you know, their name, their scientific name, their region, their country, their anti-venoms, um, you know, starting from best to last, the four different anti-venoms uh, that we can use. So there's a lot of different things. I mean, I have the Crocalis, I have the Cobras, I have the Bittus, I have all these different stuff, um, you know, in order, but this way, if somebody was to get bit, say if I was to get bit by the white lip tree viper, Summer could very simply just rip out this page, 
or she could just simply grab the card, the flash card out of there and bring it with us to the hospital. Um, this way when we're on the phone with uh, Venom 1, we can tell them, hey, I just got bit by this snake, this is the scientific name, these are the anti-venoms that it should take. Even though they already know all of this, they have such in-depth uh, files on every single type of snake you can possibly think of, it's probably insane, um, and they have unlimited resources for anti-venom. Sometimes there is shortages of anti-venom, but most of the guys and girls uh, down at Venom 1 know how to counteract. If not, they will actually reach out to Venom Labs. Um, there's a couple off the top of my head that I know help out Venom 1 quite often. So now as snakes grow and change, you're going to have to change the pictures as well. For instance, baby rattlesnakes, um, when I get them, they're usually a brighter color or a duller color, and as they mature or get older, their colors stretch out, either get brighter or duller depending on the species of rattlesnake. Um, so again, every year or so, I have to go through and update the pictures. Um, if a snake got a scar on it or a wound that won't heal pr uh, properly or something along those lines, um, it's always good to update the photo this way you have a good identification of that snake in your bite protocol. Alright, so we're going to jump over to the computer now really quick. I want to show you guys the website that I get most of my information off of because it's something that, you know, if you do by chance keep venomous or uh, other species of animals that possibly could be venomous, it's a great website to get information off to have on file. So I want to jump on over to the computer so you guys can check that out. So the website that I use is Clinical Toxinology Resources. And as you can see on here, they have first aid stuff, snakes, spiders and scorpions, marine life, other life, and about this website. Now you can't really click on any of these, but you come up here and it's the same stuff. So you go to snakes, search, and then it pulls this up. So you can see here you have common name, family, subfamily, genus, species, country, region, so on and so forth. But if you really wanted to look up just one snake particularly, you could come here to genus. So we'll go down to let's see, Protalis. Um, where is it? There's a lot, as you can clearly see. Protalis, species, and go to Aatrox. Aatrox, boom. All right, hit search. So then we'll come up with these two right here. So you have Crotalus Aatrox, Crotalus Aatrox, Western Diamondback Rattlesnake. So this is the one I'm looking for. So click that and then it brings you to this page. So this is, as you can see, Crotalus atrox, which is the Western Diamondback Rattlesnake. You have family Viperidae, subfamily, all that fun stuff. And you even have a danger index right here. So these guys are a pretty bad bite. There's also a little map down here that you can click on, which will show you their range, which is pretty cool. Um, but yeah, it's got all the information you could possibly think of or think about for their venom and anti-venom as well. We've got first aid, what you should do if you were to get bit by that snake, treatment, and then you have the anti-venoms, which right here there are two. Uh, Polyvance is one, and anti-pitman is the other one. So yeah, pretty cool stuff. This website is awesome. You can look up arachnids. You can look at all different types of stuff if you really want to, but even Marine Life is on here. It's an awesome website. You guys could definitely check it out. So yeah, I thought I'd do this video for you guys. Thought it'd be an interesting little fun video. Um, but again, very important. I think that every venomous keeper should definitely have a bite protocol. Very, very important. And then on top of that, anybody living in the house um, or at the facility working should also know about this go through the basics of it, like if something were to happen, what snake, so on and so forth. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember, subscribe if you aren't already. Big thank you to my Patreons for watching. You guys are awesome. Big thank you for you guys for watching as well. I will see you guys in the next video. Like always, smash that like button. Bye.